Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arm Pitching Development. Tonight we're going to talk about throwing drills for 9 or 10 year olds and how to implement those into your process or your practice routine when you're going out and training. I'll, what I've run into looking at it uh, the last couple of weeks, I brought in a couple of younger guys and I saw some fun things that we needed to clean up. A lot of it had to do with how they throw, where their, where their arm positioning was, their arm action. So we had to clean up some of that. And then a lot of it has to do with movement and strength of movement when they're, when they're trying to deliver a, a ball or just even make a throw. And playing catch seems to be difficult, especially at the nine-year-old range when you're first starting out or first learning how to throw a ball or, or pitch a ball. Let me tell you this, just playing catch alone is hard enough for that age group from what my experience is, let alone pitching a ball. So make sure that we focus on throwing the ball first and then we're gonna build our way into pitching. So tonight we're gonna cover some of these drills. Okay, so when we're starting out, what I like to do with the, the younger group is start with an open face, open face frame here. And I don't know if you can get this, but I, I like to get my feet slightly offset or open here at this point. It's not quite a full foot distance, but it, it almost is a full foot width. And then I'm slightly outside of my hip position here. What, I'm, what I was trying to do, because I saw a lot of casting arms here and a lot of arm drag with the younger guys. So talking about glove position is going to be a little bit tighter at this point. And all we're going to do is work an arm up slot, find what kind of is comfortable for them. And I want to keep the elbow elevated um, even with or above the shoulder line ideally. And then I want to work the ball ahead of the chest line. So the ball first, chest second. So all we're going to do is start in a simple position here with our arm elevated. I'm going to run back, just rotate, and then throw through. Uh, you'll be surprised if you start this drill that you're going to see a lot of different movement patterns out of the younger guys. But if you'll just kind of reinforce that once we come through here from rotation, we're gonna kind of put a, a seatbelt on or a stopping point and then let the arm go ahead and then we're gonna follow the arm through the inside of our hips here into finish line. So again, we're just elevated up, rotate, and then work through, trying to keep the eyes nice and centered, the head nice and centered with where we want the ball to go. Okay, on drill number two for uh, you throwers, nine, 10, however old you are, 9, 10, 11, somewhere in that range. So what I want to do is work slightly outside in a split stance frame here. And let me move the bucket here so you can see a little bit better. I'm slightly outside of my hips. You don't want to make it feel like they're walking on a tightrope because you're going to be too wobbly um, and, and lose balance here, okay? So we're going to stay stronger, stay pretty strong on the back leg and about a 120 on the front leg. Again, we're going to work from our elbow up position here, just like we did on drill number one. We're going to start out strong, block, and we're going to rotate back over the back hip. From this point here, we're just going to throw through our target and extend. Again, the emphasis um, should be to really try to work the ball ahead of the chest line as we're going through the throw. Good base, extension, finish up, extend back and work through. You're gonna find that the guys are gonna be a little bit wobbly on that. That's okay, that's just an age to strength thing at the moment. And the more they're working correctly in the right frame of motion, the better it's gonna work out in the end for them. Okay, drill number three, we're gonna work on a progressive rocker throw with arm elevation in sync. So we're working on a little bit of timing and rhythm through the movement, and then trying to get our arm action to match within that space split stance frame here that we had and then all we're going to do is convert the back leg down here and so now we're in kind of a, a heel to heel position so within our heel to heel position i'm going to elevate the arm up to about a 90 degree or wherever they feel like that we can get this ball to get ahead of ourselves in in the right space in the right shape and time and we're going to sit back behind us a little bit here this is going to be a little bit trying as we as we go because they're not going to have the strength so they're going to feel like they're down here and it's going to look a little weird to you just try to reinforce pushing your your glutes back behind you and staying strong in your quads 
So I'm gonna be up, elbows up, rock forward, rock back, and we're gonna turn up here and kind of resist the urge to turn our chest a little bit early. So here, back, up, and through the frame. I know I make it, I'm making it look a little bit easier than a nine or a 10 year old's gonna do it, but so you see the finished product of it and then where you're trying to mold or build those guys to. So on the next one here, again, pushing back, heel to heel, elbow elevated here, front side elbow elevated, forward, back, up, and through. That one's gonna be a little bit trickier. You're gonna find or run into some balance issues. That's okay. We're just here to practice these reps to get them stronger. Uh, building them up into the mount. Okay, so on the last one, what we're gonna do is uh, work on the front side load position a little bit here, and then work on balance through the back leg, strength through the back leg a little bit, working towards home plate. So this one I'm using a little bit of space with. So if we're towing the rubber, it doesn't have to have a rubber. The more important part is the space between my feet here and my legs. A lot of times you'll see guys that will come set are really pinched off or closed in an unathletic position. What I wanna do is broaden that out just slightly outside of my hip width and somewhere around the foot or two foot, depending on how tall your athlete is, will work just fine. So off your set, all we're gonna do is work timing on load to break down to tap. Back up, load, and all they're gonna do is keep themselves outside of the cone or the spacing width to resist the urge to come back in here and down and leak their energy down forward. What we wanna do is carry the energy going up. As they get better at this, they can work down up to arm spiral here. And then as they get better on that, they can work it out to completion of your throat. So anyways, there's a few drills for uh, nine, 10 year old, 11 year old guys out there looking to uh, build on their pitching process, their throwing process. Anyways, I hope you find value in the video. Thanks for watching. And thank you guys so much for checking out the video today. I really appreciate that. Hey, for uh, more pitching tips, drills, exercises, and workouts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. And also, if you like the content we shoot here, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And until I shoot the next video, I look forward to seeing you next time.